Hello, Internet. It's your boy, Lemon. And I decided to mix it up from just the regular Overwatch content. And I will be starting to play Fallout New Vegas. Now, I am a huge fan of Fallout series myself. So much that I need to watch this cutscene, I should probably talk, stop talking. Game come out. I'm surprised because this looks really freaking good for you for a Fallout cutscene. So what else? I'll try to make my introduction short. I'm a huge fan of the series. Put about 300 hours between Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. But I've never played Fallout New Vegas. War. War never changes. Opening intros never change too, I guess. When atomic fire consumed the Earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world, and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. Oh shit, was that me? You got what you were after. So pay up. Oh, You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? Liking this already. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. I don't know if 
any opening can beat the entire opening first couple quests of Fallout 3. That's pretty good though. That's pretty freaking good. I am more excited than I have ever been to play a Fallout game. So a little disappointed with Fallout 4, but we'll probably get to that later. So I really don't know much about this game at all, other than the fact that it takes place in Vegas. Uh, you gotta... Oh, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Let's let this go for Why don't you bit. just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? So anyways, all I really know about Follow New Vegas, I'll just keep, keep it short and sweet, is that there is a casino that you gotta give your guns in, or you can sneak them in if you have like a high sneak or something. Um, Bill Murray plays a character, and unlike in Fallout 3, water is not as much of an issue here in this game. Uh, other than that, I just know that's supposed to be pretty freaking good. I'm excited to play. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. Yeah, I'm Doc shit. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Oh god, this is taking an hour alone. Alright, let's just get something real quick. Okay. It's gotta be audio, right? What was that? Mm. I enjoy snoring. Alright, let's say this. I enjoy seeing the subtitles below this part. This should have it. I assume it would. That's what is it? That's what it is. Okay. Oh, it's gotta be here, right? General center. There we go. Alright, now we're now we're cooking. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. <laughs> yeah. Didn't take my dick off. I am white. I see if any of these presets are good. Alright. Alright, we can start working with this. This is Vegas, right? I'll live with that, random Randomize my head. Sure, let's go for it. It's like an Abe Lincoln with that weird ass head's hairstyle. Uh, no, I'll, I'll roll with this. I'll roll with this. Pretty sure there's going to be somebody later in this. Mix it up. always so much to mess with. You know what, I might just I might just skip ahead until my creation is done and come back. Yeah, I'm just gonna make this real quick and I'll be back. Catch, catch me after it's done. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what we will be going with. A little bit like me, but like not too much like me, because I don't have two hours to spend on this. I only got like 15 minutes I really want to do on it. That's what we'll go with for now. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. 
Ooh, the first save. Looking good She's getting real now. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you got back all your faculties. Okay, what? Strengths. Oh, Jesus. Um. Alright, one thing I have to say about this game is I always a smooth talking. I really want to say Casanova, but I gotta leave some room to get better at speech. But I always have high speech when I live in scared. Because the way I see it, I'm gonna be pretty good at the hand to hand basic combat as it is, because I'm just decent at video games. So all I really need to worry about is talking my way through shit. Uh, unarmed, health, resistance, survival. Explosive lock. I want this to go up. Perception for sure. Oh yeah, wait. Jeez. Jeez. There's only so many. Points and this is gonna take 20 minutes on its own, ain't it? Nah, I can keep this quick. Look. All skills. Critical hits. And then this ups. Turn that down one. Five and just have charisma be real fucking high. Okay, yeah, totally. So we don't want two more points to go into. Guns, intelligence. I do enjoy lockpick, so let's put that in here. Energy weapons, accuracy, compass, range. I like that, I like that. Not much into melee, but I enjoy carrying a lot of freaking shit, so let's put this to six. Alright, so according to my special, I am a barrel chested, wary trout, who is stain resistant, a movie star, gifted, under control. Ending that doesn't even have anything like they can't, it's not even like whatever. Let's review. Yeah, that seems like it's pretty good to me. Good to see them bullets didn't affect your charm, none. Yeah, I always well, play. Your vitals are good, Here's my character. but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter than a big one or drop it. What do you say you take a seat on my couch and we'll go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Ooh, this is like the test is. Uh, House. Night. <laughs> Silencer. Oh, crazy. Sleep. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, just sleep. Bandit. Reasonable vapor I switch cheese stab crush. Um, 
I crush her. Like a ninja. Mother. Father's here. I mean, she's mother. Human shield. Oh boy. Oh boy, I gotta choose that one. I'm mm. not a bad person sometimes, you know? Sometimes when you give tests like this, you learn more than you was hoping for, and I reckon that ain't always the best thing. But I guess maybe it explains a thing or two about your predicament. Okay, now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. Character I'm trying to build here. I don't know. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Ah, my charisma's up. I'm gonna talk. I this. ain't given to relying on others for support. I agree on that. Right? I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'll get no opinion on that. I'm slow to embrace. I'll disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Disagree with that. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Bring a chair, come crash a chair, boyfriend. Using the moon to an angry two headed ant. I mean, I, see, I can see one head. Actually, I don't see any of these. Like broken chair. No. Chemical reaction. Shadow and dwarfman. Chemical reactions you okay. know, really secure. How about this one? all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Jeez. Uh, nope. We give it to speech. I mean, it's cute, but it's not what I go with. Speech. Lockpick. Once you receive from food and drink, I'll solve this. Hmm. Do I just leave this on science? I never upgrade guns or explosive weapons in these games because I just. I enjoy the feeling of I am in a wasteland. This is gonna be rough. But all I got is my ability to talk my way through life, pick some doors, and heal myself? I don't know. I don't like this. I usually don't sneak, or I didn't sneak in Fallout 3. Or 4, really. It's just too boring in these games. Science. Air. I gotta just gotta cheat. Just go with that stuff. Keep my ass alive. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just That's a little private. 
Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Oh boy. That's a lot of things to read. Okay. Um mm. Jeez. I'm just gonna read this and get back to you guys. Hold up, hold up. Alright, so the two traits I went with. What I found is a lot of these have real serious Pluses and minuses based on the perks. So I decided to go with good natured since I'm already leaning down the path of speech. Be able to talk my way through some tough situations. It won't matter to me that I only lose minus five to all that boring shooting stuff, you know. Which who needs to fight? Come on. And this is what I'm really excited for: Wild Wasteland. It unleashes the most bizarre and silly elements of post-apocalyptic America, not for the faint of heart, but the serious of temperament. I'm hoping there's gonna be some cool stuff with that, so let's get it going. Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Yeah, that's all my crotch. That's my dick. Alright. I am super, super excited to step into the wasteland right now. I just kind of just want to rob his shit. Yeah, it's mine now. Okay. Can I just take everything here? Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults and made before the war. We all got one. Okay, Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. Oh, man, you put this on this too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck do I do now? You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. So Victor pulled me out of my grave. Only Vegas will last you to play new hardcore more like that. Greatly increases the challenge of the game. In this mode, stim packs heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs. Right away removes radiation over time. Ammunition has oh whoa. I was with you until ammunition has weight. Because I am already bad enough at feeling like I never have any space to carry stuff. If I couldn't carry as much ammo as possible, I would lose my mind, so I'm getting a no. And so it begins. Alright, this will do it for episode one of Fallout New Vegas. Uh, just thought this would be a good opener, and from now on we'll be exploring the wasteland, so... Saddle up, baby. <laughs>